making an image to whatever you want has never been this easy. Just add a control video and your image copies the motions and expressions. You could even replace a person in any video with your reference image. Making a deep fake video is now effortless. And it's free, fully open source, licensed for commercial use, supports NSFW content and is easy to use. In this video, I'll show you how to run WAN 2.2 Animate at its full potential in a simple, affordable and efficient way. I've already run the hard setup and compiled everything we need so you can easily replace people in a video or quickly animate any image the way you want. Let's dive in. WAN 2.2 Animate runs on 27 billion parameters with 14 billion active during each inference step. It has been trained on much larger datasets than previous models giving it a stronger motion, semantic, and visual quality. With Animate, you can bring any character to life, not just people, and it accurately mirrors expressions and movements to create highly realistic videos, like you just saw in the last scene. It can swap out a character in any video with your chosen reference image while keeping the look consistent and blending into the original lighting, color, and environment. WAN 2.2 Animate runs smoothly even on a mid-range GPU. On an A40 with 48 GB RAM, you can get about 5 seconds of the video in 4 to 6 minutes. On top end cards like A100 or H100, the same clip can drop to just 1 to 3 minutes. Benchmarks place it ahead of even leading closed source models like Kling, Sora, Dream Actor, and Runway's Act 2. Now let's take a look at this demo where it goes head to head with Runway, ByteDance, and other top models. <laughs> Notice how other top models clearly struggle here, while WAN performs really very really well. Here's another comparison that highlights WAN's incredible ability to replicate motion. See how accurately and smoothly it copies the hand and finger gestures from the control video, while the paid, supposedly the best closed source models, clearly fall flat. Makes me think, why would you pay for these tools? Now let's talk about how to actually use it. You can start on their website, wan.video. Every day you get 10 free credits. With 20 credits, you can create a 8 second long video. Switch from video to avatar and you will see two new options, character swap and photo animate. For character swap, upload your target video plus a reference image. On the free plan, this can take 30 minutes or more for just 6 seconds. For photo animate, you upload one image and a short action video and it copies the motion. But free users face long queues and miss out on features. Paid plans are faster and to unlock NSFW or commercial use, you will want to run it locally or in the cloud. Cloud is easy and affordable. That's why I built a RunPod template so you can skip the install grind. I have ensured this template is fast, preloaded with required LoRa's and well tested so you don't have to spend hours just to use it efficiently. We don't use the official repo as the workflow is complex with ComfyUI. Instead, I use the WAN2GP repo by Deep Beep Meep. What's really amazing about this setup is that it doesn't just run WAN 2.2 Animate, but also the other top video and image models like Hunian, LTV, Flux, Quen, and more. All in one easy UI with low VRAM requirements. The official ComfyUI workflow can feel overwhelming, but WAN2GP makes it much simpler by providing an easy to use interface for all top models. I connected it with my own startup.sh script so RunPod pulls everything we require to run these top models smoothly. Sign up with my RunPod link in the description. You get a random $5 to $500 credit when you sign up with my link. Click the template link in the description. Choose a GPU. Click on additional filters from the CUDA version dropdown. Select 12.8. And from the RAM GPU select 48 at least. I have optimized this template for these settings on A40, which works very well and is affordable. And for RTX 5090, if you want a bit more speed and want to create longer videos, name your pod and ensure you are using WAN2GP template. You should see my Docker image, which has everything required baked into it. Choose on demand and hit deploy. The first boot will download the image and models. Scroll to the end of the logs and wait until you see WAN2GP UI ready on port 7862. It usually takes about 5 minutes for the first run. Then go to the connection tab. Sometimes the HTTP service shows not ready, even though it is. Visit the service and you'll see the interface running. 
Thanks to Neep again, you now get access to WAN 2.1, 2.2, Hunyan, LTX, Flux, Quen, and even Lucy Edit, which is basically an open source nano banana alternative, all in one place. Earlier you had to install each separately in Comfy UI, now it's all neatly combined into a single simple UI. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a separate video on any of these other models. For this tutorial, we focus on WAN 2.2 Animate. So go ahead and select it. Next, we'll tweak one setting to get better results. Head over to the Configuration tab, find Attention Type, and switch it to Scale.ProductAttention, SDPA. I've personally been getting much better results with it. Then click Apply Changes. Now let's build a mask so the model knows exactly what to change and what to keep. Go to the Video Mask Creator tab. The model works without a mask too, but I highly recommend creating one. It really improves the quality. The mask basically tells Van which part of the control video to use for motion. It copies motion only from the masked person or area and ignores everything else. When you're using the replace or character swap feature, the mask tells Van who to replace in the video. It swaps out only the person with your reference image and leaves everything else untouched. Here's how you create the mask. Upload your control video. Click load video, then click add mask. Click on a person a few times to make sure the full body is selected. Then click generate video matting and wait for it to process. It can take a couple of minutes. Once it's done, you will see the video mask preview. If it looks good, click export to control video input and video mask input. And you'll see they'll now appear in the video generation tab. Ensure that you are still on 2.2 animate. Now let's use the animate feature with the mask. Select the second option, animate person in reference image using motion of target person in control video. This is the option that uses the mask we just created. The first option, which says motion of the whole control video, auto generates a mask. But the second one gives much better results, especially if your control video has multiple people and you only want to copy motion from one of them. Next, upload your reference image. Make sure your control video, reference image, and the output video all have the same aspect ratio for the best results. In my case, everything is in portrait, so I'll select 9 is to 16 for the output resolution. Try to make sure that the size of the person in your control video and the size of the person in the reference image are roughly the same. If your reference image shows a full body person, but your control video only shows someone waist up, the model will struggle to align the limbs and proportions correctly. That mismatch often leads to jittery body motion in the final video. For the prompt, I'll simply just put girl dancing, set the resolution to 480p, and for frames, enter 180, since 30 frames equal 1 second, and our video is 6 seconds long, that's 30 into 6, 180 frames. You'll notice the duration updates to 6 seconds. Now let's adjust the settings for the light X2V LoRa, which works best around 10 to 12 inference steps. I'll set it to 12 because in my experience, 10 makes the results slightly undercooked. Then check advanced mode, set CFG to 1 and shift to 7. Go to the LoRa's tab and select light X2V. Set the multiplier to 1.0. Under step skipping, cache type, Choose Tcache. Again, this will help make the generation much faster. That's it. That's all the settings that you need to do. Now simply just click Generate. If it's your first run, it'll take longer because it needs to download models. And this one is for 30 GB. Subsequent runs will be much faster. Once it's done, check out the results. The character consistency looks great and it copies facial expressions and motion really well. You can use the same approach for the Replace feature too. Just create a mask export it and select the fourth option see through the mask in the list one more quick tip if your ui ever gets stuck and you want to see the real time progress just open the web terminal and run this command you can find this command on my blog you'll see every step of the process live super handy for tracking progress that'll be all for this video share the video with someone you think it'll be useful for subscribe to the channel so you stay updated with the latest in ai thank you for watching